I do not want to go to heaven. I do not want to go to heaven. Why don't I want to go to heaven? Even if there is a heaven, which I'm doubting there is. Like, why would there be a civilization castle in the clouds or whatever? We can't see anything. There's like billions of other planets we could like go on. All these galaxies and they're being found and whatever. I'm starting to think, like I don't, I'm not saying I believe in anything anymore. Uh, I'm just saying, maybe, like I theorize about stuff. Could death take you to a different galaxy? And there's apparently like an infinite number of galaxies. So maybe that we have an infinite number of lives. Maybe. Maybe this is like our first one. This is our first life in our first galaxy. Maybe this is like our third one. We have no memory of our past galaxies or anything like that. It'd be kind of neat, I think. But I had a really weird theory the other day. Okay, just try and stick with me here. This is going to get pretty crazy. So apparently, the fastest speed that anything can achieve is light. There's nothing faster than the speed of light. So imagine if... Huh. I was just thinking, you know, in Futurama they apparently increased the speed of light. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Anyways, um, the speed of light. Nothing can go faster than the speed of light. So, just stick with me here. Say, humans, finally, with through like a billion years or whatever, make a machine or a uh, you know, anything that goes the speed of light. Okay, so now humans have an invention that can take us into space at the speed of light. Now, let's just say this. Let's put a newborn baby on that thing. Like, literally just born, like, a second ago. Put it on the spaceship with, like, of course, other people there to, you know, help them grow up or whatever. But in that entire baby's life, if they go nothing but the speed of light, the entire time, the entire trip, which would be until that baby dies, when he gets old and dies of old age. Say there's a planet that no matter if you go on there the second you were born, travel the fastest speed, no matter like, ah, oh, this is confusing already. Say there's a planet, okay, there's a planet way, 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 way far away. If you put someone their entire lifespan, the speed of light, going the speed of light, their entire lifespan, to that planet, they would be just out of reach before they died. Is that not... Like, you have to think about it logically, like, there is such thing as too far away. What if there was a planet that had intelligent life form on it that, you know, even if it could be like the next place that we go to when we die, it could be like the new heaven or whatever. No matter how hard we try, no matter how long we go, no matter how fast we go, it will be just out of reach. I think that's a pretty logical scenario. Because, you know, apparently God designed us to, you know, die when we get old and, you know, whatever. So from the moment that baby's born, grows up going the speed of light to this planet when it gets old and dies it will be just out of reach of that one planet that's a pretty fucking awesome method or theory I don't know it actually came to me in a dream a few days ago don't know why I brought it up now <laughs> anyways uh yeah I'm having a weird beef with religion recently I just I can't stand it I can't stand people who devote their lives to religion and then they want to make the case of we're not saved um, yeah we are pretty safe especially people like me who don't believe in anything at all I don't even really believe in evolution I don't believe in anything I don't believe in shit basically here's what I'm thinking I was put on this earth to make the most out of my life so I'm gonna have as much fucking fun as I possibly can during this time if God wanted me to be on earth to worship him, then why didn't he just tell us to do that? Why didn't he program us to do nothing but worship him? Because that's not what he wants. He wants us to live our lives. So why do all these people devote their lives to God is so great and God is so wonderful. You all should praise God. Basically, any law that God gave me 
when he said, you need to worship me on your human earth life. Any law that states that was cancelled when he gave me a conscious mind. When he gave me a choice. When he gave me my free will. And that's basically how I'm going to live my life. I'm just going to, you know, take it one day at a time, have as much fun as possible in that day, and whatever. And I'm thinking, when I die, like, why do you want to know what happens when you die now? Do you want to know what happens when you die, when you die? Life is way too short to worry about death. You know, maybe we just rot in the ground, but, you know, you have to explore all the possibilities. Because, you know, the spirit of whatever that lives inside everyone. You know, scientists are discovering things called super giant stars, which are like 7,000 times bigger than our sun, and our sun is like 10,000, or I don't know how many times bigger than Earth, but yeah, super giant stars, we are absolutely microscopic, our entire planet is microscopic compared to a super giant star, you know, and I'm, I'm just thinking, you know, what are those? Like, what do, what do those do? And then I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe God put us there, or put those there for us to think about them. Kind of like a decoy, or a trap. But if we devote our entire lives to thinking what that is, and then we die, and it turns out that God tells us what it is anyway, then we just wasted our earth life. But anyways, I started this entire video off saying that I don't want to go to heaven. Why don't I want to go to heaven? I don't want to go to heaven because if God put us here to worship him in order to get to heaven so we can worship him some more, that's boring. That's the same thing over and over. I don't want that. I want some difference. Like, at least in hell, you're getting, like, punished differently every single day or whatever. This week, I'm going to cut off your legs. This next week, I'm going to cut off your face. This next week, you're going to get spiked by a skull with spikes in it. Spiked by a skull with spikes in it. Yeah, so I don't want to go to heaven. I want to have some kind of different things happening than just, oh, God is so wonderful. If we, they, like, what the hell? I just made, you can, oh my God. I just made a connection between Hitler and God kind of subconsciously just now. Actually, any kind of king or ruler can be applied to this, like back in even medieval times. Any ruler, any deity or whatever basically says, worship me or you're dead. That's basically what it says. God is apparently saying, worship me or you're going to go to hell and basically die forever. Like, God is such a bully. Ugh, whatever. I don't even really think there's God. I'm just, you know in perspective of a Christian or the washing machine has stopped.